Police are looking for a woman who held up this old town ice cream shop at gunpoint. Tinder's reporter Candace Crone is live with the changes the store owner plans to make after a second robbery. Candace? Well, as you can see, Corky's ice cream shop is back open tonight, but around one o'clock, a woman walked in, acted like she was going to buy something. Turns out what she wanted wasn't on the menu. It's business as usual at Corky's ice cream shop, but just hours ago, police cars lined the street right outside after a woman entered the business, showed a gun and demanded money. Between 12 and 1 o'clock for somebody to come in, that was really bold of her to come like that. The store owner says the woman asked for chocolate chip ice cream. The clerk told her they didn't have it, so she asked for a soda. The employee went to get it and the woman handed over a $10 bill. She pretended to pay, but instead showed the clerk a gun that was in her purse and said she wanted cash, not the soda. The worker handed over about 140 bucks before the woman calmly walked off like nothing happened. Of course, you're shocked, you know, you're, you're not happy about that. But the first thing that worried me was the employee, you know, you wanted to make sure that she was safe. Fortunately, the employee was not hurt. This isn't the first time Corky's has been robbed. 10 News was there in November of 2013 after a man pulled a gun on the cashier. He was eventually caught. The store owner now plans to beef up security in hopes of preventing yet another robbery. Definitely, we're going to get the camera. You know, this is second time. We're not, you know. Police hope surveillance video from the Sheriff's Museum across the street will help them find the brazen robber. And police have a very vague description of the suspect. She's described as a woman in her 40s wearing a black beanie, sunglasses, and all black clothing. Of course, if you have any information about this crime, call police. We're live in Old Town, Candace Crone, 10 News.